Hey guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Carla and this is my first ever YouTube video. I'm so excited to start this new journey of mine. I've been wanting to do this for so long and I'm finally here. Today I have created this simple everyday summer look. Um, I do have a lot of products that I use today. I had to go ahead and like and subscribe to this channel. Hit that post notification button and if you want to go ahead and see how I do my everyday summer look, just go ahead and keep on watching. And prime my eyes. I don't use eye primer. Um, I only use like a concealer or yeah, just a concealer actually. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and use the Born This Way from Too Faced. This is on the shade Natural Base. Go ahead and prime my eyes. Um, I'm going to prime it and then I'm also going to go ahead and clean my eyebrow. Just because I have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of the hair going on right now. I put a lot. I know you guys. And I'm gonna go ahead and um I'm gonna go ahead and clean my eyebrow. Now I just wanna go ahead and grab this brush right here. I'm not sure from who this is. My friend did give me a brush set last year, 2018 for my birthday. So yeah, this is like one of the brushes from that set that I love, love, love. Like I have the eyeliner, but I don't know what I haven't used it yet. Being a dumbass. Me quiero gastar el dinero como, like, if I have some, so. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and use the Jacqueline Hill palette from Morphe. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this yellow shade right here, which as you can see, I already hit pan on it. So now I'm going to go ahead and buff this out with the Makeup Shack T46. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite um, eyeshadow brush at the moment. I'm just doing a circle of motion every time I'm blending. Go ahead and grab this other sh this shade right here. I don't know these color names. Um, I don't have anything. And as you can tell, it's like the old, like it's like the first of her like juggling hell palette that came out, like her first one before she changed the packaging and added the names and all that. So yeah, don't get at me. These work for me. So now I'm going to go ahead and focus that shade onto the outer part of my eye. And I'm just going to go ahead and blend that. I'm just going to add a little bit more. And then whatever is left, I'm just going to go ahead and bring it more towards the inner part but it's just whatever is left I'm not going to go ahead and add more of that shade I'm not scared today I'm going to be using the Tarte Light Camera Lashes this is my current favorite mascara I love it just because it's like it doesn't clump up my lashes it gives me that volume Go ahead and apply this mascara. So yeah. So now for lashes, I am gonna go ahead and apply these Lurella Cosmetics lashes. These are in the style Parish. I live for these lashes. Um, I'm gonna use my dual lash glue. And I am going to go ahead, you do want to apply, especially because this one's a very nice tube. What I first do is like, I'm almost like halfway there. So it's like, 
I only go ahead and squeeze out like such a small bit of it and then apply it on the lash. You want to go ahead and do a thin layer because if you do a very thick layer of this, it is going to be harder for it to dry and it is going to be causing a mess all around your eye. So yeah, and then I just go here and just move it around just so the end is more flexible. So this is the way that I put my lashes. I tilt my head back. I put the mirror down like this. I kind of close my eye. And I first place it right in the middle. And since the glue is already tacky, you don't really have to do much work. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my other lash off camera and I'll be right back. So I'm back. I have my lashes on. I already feel like I don't need anything else. This is done here. This is our makeup look. Mm -hmm. Very nice primer that I've been using lately is this Hourglass of Beal primer. This. I go ahead and actually put like two pumps all the time. And I'm going to go ahead and rub it and put it everywhere. Today for my foundation, I am going to be using the Beauty Blender Balance Foundation. I am in the shade 8.30. Um, it's a warm olive. So yeah. So what I do do is that I get my LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Toast. And I do put a little, a small amount here. And then I square it off some foundation and then apply it on. Squirts of it. And then I go ahead and blend it here. I blend it with this. I'm going to go ahead and apply it on first. And this is a full coverage foundation. But what I like about this full coverage is that it is a lightweight. Which a lot of the times foundations that are full coverage. They don't feel lightweight on your face. It feels like you have a cake on and this one doesn't look cakey so I'm gonna go ahead and blend that out I'm gonna go ahead and do a few dots now I'm doing a few dots I actually go crazy on it. But yeah, I love this one because the finish of it, it's a matte, matte velveteen, I believe that's how you say it. So that means that this matte foundation moves with your skin. Because you know how there's some matte foundations that once they're matte, you feel so dry or they start, um, cracking, etc. That's because it's just regular melt. This mat right here doesn't do that. Cleaning your eyebrows with concealer on the top. I do recommend to go in with your foundation. That way you don't get like that brightening um, eyebrow status. So this one I'm going to go ahead and go close because I'm blind. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just do that. I'm going to go ahead and go back with my Born This Way Concealer in Natural Beige.
You, if you want to go ahead and follow like where your ear, top of your ear and everything. And I use a small line. I don't go crazy on it. Just because I said, I'm only doing this so it helps my bronzer stay a little bit longer than usual. Um, so I only try to focus this part of that cream into like only the outer part of it. Just cause like, mm, I already, mm, mm, mm. I'm so stupid sometimes. For me to learn this whole world. But I'm willing to do it. And let me undo I. I do set a lot under my eye. And I do bake it because I do crease under my eye. Like my under eyes are so sweaty all the time. And you guys are probably gonna think this is weird. Bake my whole nose just because it is always greasy and and I do have glasses on. So I try to maintain that area as set as possible just so my foundation doesn't come off easily. You get me? First off, this powder. And wherever it's left, I just like to go ahead and use it for all over the face. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and use my Tarte bronzer. This one's the Park Avenue Princess. So yeah, this is also another water resistant um, bronzer. So, yeah. so now I'm going to go ahead and only put a little bit and just go ahead and blend that out. So I don't go full on crazy jam on it just because like this is my everyday look. And my everyday, I don't like going crazy on my bronzer or any of that. Okay, now for blush, I am going to use the ColourPop Times Bretman Blush. This is the one, oh, she blushing. Oh, she blushing. This is like a very pink um, shade. First, I was so iffy about it, like I literally had it there for so long, and then I started wearing it, and I was like, oh my god, this is not as crazy as pink as I thought it would be, so, I just get 10 pounds by me. So now I'm gonna go ahead, and I go ahead and do like three tapas, tap some axes out, and then I'm gonna go ahead, so what I do is that I apply it on top of my bronzer and then a little bit of whatever is left over on my cheekbone so to you guys it's nothing crazy it's just to give me back my life or whatever it is that blush really does honestly I used to hate blush like my mom would be like, pues ponte chapas, that's what she calls it. It's like, ponte unas chapas, o ponte acá de mis chapas. And then I'd be like, girl, no. But I want to go ahead and play a little bit more. You see the difference? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do the new side. I 
again. Y ahora estamos bien chapeteadas. Bien bonitas, bien chapeteadas. Voy a poner un poquito en la nariz. Sorry, I just want like all spangles on you guys. Fenty Beauty, I don't think you can see my Fenty Beauty highlight. This one, this one is the Hustle Baby and Mean Money. So what I like to do is that I don't really like intense highlight like that. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is just combine both of them and it leaves it more of that wet highlight that I like. Yeah. So I want this one really like highlight. That's me. And I just go ahead and blend that. And I just love it because it looks so very wet. Now I'm going to go ahead and use this Bite Beauty um, lipstick. This is on the shade Pepper. It is this very nice color. I'm more into these rather than like the actual nudes. And no, I did not wear that liner. and just leave it the way it is but how like i said now i'm into lip gloss so now i'm gonna go ahead and use the fenty beauty lip gloss gloss balm i mean gloss balm and i'm gonna use on the shade fuzzy these are my favorite lip glosses i love literally love them what i do is i just tap a little bit and just do that. So now, so this makeup look can last on you for a very, very long time. We do have to set the face. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. Um, Honestly, I got the travel size as well because I was trying it out. I wasn't sure how to feel about it at first because I was such like um, an Urban Decay Girl setting powder, I mean setting powder, setting spray. But this one, I love this one way better than the Urban Decay one. Um, it sets nice, you feel so hydrating. I'm gonna go ahead and spray some. yeah and this is the final look you guys i this is like my everyday makeup look it's nothing too exaggerated um if you do this like you could always go ahead and change the lip if it's like you're more into like an everyday but always have a bold lip then this is a very nice one the eyeshadow is not intense at all it just brings more color into your life um personally on me i love these lashes if you're a girl with glasses and you've tried every type of lashes and none of them fit i recommend using lurella cosmetic lashes they will fit your 
glasses and I have a lot of them but these are like my everyday lashes which is on the style Parish. so yeah I hope you guys really enjoy this video please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel it would mean so much to me I am going to be posting very soon again so yeah